All right, Todd here with Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have a 5.7 Truck Hemi and an HP 75 that we're gonna be doing testing. So we're doing a lot of HP 75 testing right now just to get them figured out. We get them to work. We're now working on trying to get the valve bodies to work for tap shift. So we're getting there. So we have a couple going. Here's another one. So this is a customer. He was gonna do it himself. He decided he didn't have time. So this is an engine that he bought, transmission, and it came with a transfer case, which we do not need the transfer case, as you can see, will not work. And then when you look at the output shaft to the transfer case and the cooler, <laughs> that is no bueno. Uh, not gonna work. And so here's like something that's a lot of people are talking about, and I get it. So there's a heating issue, non-heating issue, warming up issue, not really an issue. This cooler here is a dual deal. It warms up training fluid and cools it off. But the Wrangler with the 392 and even the Grand Cherokee with the 392 does not have such cooler, does not have this. So that's the reason why we run the cooler lines that we run because those are from a Grand Cherokee. They go straight from the training right to the cooler. They do not have this. So this is not necessary. And a lot of people, oh, you know, we're having issues because of cold weather or whatever. You know, um, they all do. <laughs> you know, all of the Wranglers with the uh, 392 and the Grand Cherokees with 392 because Liz has one and it has its own issues and it's really not that cold here. But it only first couple shifts, so not a big deal. So not going to run this cooler, will not work. As you can see, drive shaft, boom, right through it and it ain't going to work. So... So we don't do that. And this is a 20 engine, so 5.7 out of a half ton Dodge Ram truck. And it's a 2020. So kind of a walk around of a used engine that a guy bought, like everybody else is buying them. You know, this is what you get. And this is what you need to get. So you need to get full drive, okay? We need to get a complete engine. Do not need wiring. Do not need a computer, because it will not work. Now on this guy's Jeep, and I'll show you this Jeep later, but he's three linked. So we're gonna run the oil cooler, which is stock. And we're going to give it a shot. It'll work, I know it will. So we're gonna run the oil cooler because it's three linked. We don't need to run the oil filter adapter that I run in all of the uh, other conversions. So won't need to do that. We're gonna do it this way. It'll work out great. Um, I think so we'll stay tuned we'll, we'll try that out this is the engine cover eh, kind of we might see if it fits might not I think it's too tall um, and this is just kind of a walk around of a 5.7 truck Hemi that everybody would be buying or everybody is buying you know used um, and this is kind of the layout you know no power steering of course you know we got to add that and uh, I guess the vacuum pump, which we don't use. This is the AC compressor. We don't use because it has that connector in the back. So no bueno there either. So AC compressor has got to be changed out. We're putting a PSC in it anyway. Uh, all air will work, all the rest of this will work. Um, just kind of a quick walk around. And things to look for when you buy them. This plug here always seems to get broken. So when you're buying something, always take a look at that. And it seems like this valve cover always gets broken right here because the master cylinder hits it. And be careful of this. This is the rear motor for the short runner. It always seems to get broken too. So when you're buying stuff, always look at those things. See if they're broken, see if they're in good shape. And I think that's about it. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else to really go over. You know, these manifolds are like a, a maybe. We had a couple guys make them work, but you gotta like pound the firewall back because you can see right where the back of the block is and where it dumps down. It's close. I mean, if you go do this on the cheap, you could probably make it work, but you might do a little firewall work. You know, it's not quite dumped down enough on this side. So there's definitely gonna be a little work done here in the firewall if you run these manifolds. And these are off the truck. Same manifolds that are on grain Cherokees and whatnot, and they won't work. So we use the other ones that do a little more doop, 
drop down. So, all right, you know, a lot of people ask questions and I'm trying to do what I can to answer as many of those as possible. All right, Jeep Speed Shop, out.